an envelope from this to this. We are going to show you how to address an envelope. Do you know where the envelope came from? No. They would engrave their message in the clay and then they would wrap it and then they would wrap the clay that had the message on it with, over with a wet piece of clay and then they would send a person with the letter to the person that they sent the message to and then when the message got to that person, they had to smash open the clay to get to the letter. Oh, that's pretty neat. Oh yeah? Well, did you know? Only wealthy people could afford to put paper around their letter. Regular people, like, you know, you and I, would have to write their address right on the back of the letter. Because can you believe that they charged for a blank piece of paper? What? Okay, okay. Now enough with the history. Let's get on to business. Okay. A vlogging we will go. A vlogging we will go. There are three basic parts when you're addressing a letter. The sender's name, address, and where they live, the receiver's name, address, and where they live, and then the stick. Okay, so we're gonna use Susie Sticker and Tubby Morvantis as our senders and receivers. Okay class, where would we put Susie Sticker? Good, we would put Susie Sticker right here because she's the sender. Okay, where would we put the receiver? Tubby Morvantis. Okay, Cash, point to where we would put the stick. Good. So we have the sender's name, street address, city, state, and zip code. And for the receiver, we have the same information. We have his name, his street address, the city where he lives, the state, and the zip code. And finally, the stamp. But what if you have a really, really, really long street name? You mean like Boulevard or Highway? Yeah, easy. If it were Boulevard, it would be in all caps BLVD. And if it were Highway, it would be a in all caps HWY. If you guys want a link to all the abbreviations, we'll put a link in the description box below. You see how on the letter we were sending it to California, but we didn't write California? We used a state abbreviation. A verbal what? Abbreviation. It's where you take the name of the state and you use a two-letter postal code. Oh. For a list of all 50 all the 50 states abbreviations, go to 50states.com. We'll put it we'll in the description, description box. And the last thing is the stamp. How much do one of those stamp thingamajiggers cost? They're 55 cents each. Why are they so expensive? I don't know. But you can buy around that by buying forever stamps. What is a forever stamp? It's a stamp that you can use no matter how much postal rates increase. Why do you need a forever stamp? I thought they were always the same price. I think one time they were 40 and 41. Now they're 55. You guys want to know how to make your envelope more snazzy? You could put anything on the outside of your envelope as long as it doesn't cover the address. One more tip, definitely use ink when you write. Don't write your addresses in pencil. Hashtag ink life. Hey guys. Up here, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Thanks for being part of our Hurry Kids, Kids Family. If you want to keep hanging out with us, click this video to watch more. We love you guys so much. Bye. Bye.